Hey, Bulls and Bears. Thank you so much for being here. It's Saturday, December 11th, 2021. And we're going to hang out a bit here. We do have some economic financial news to get into. We're going to talk about the markets. We're going to talk about some other news, including the devastating tornadoes and how that may impact the housing market and the housing shortage. And sometimes I see people comment, they say, no, there's not a housing shortage. Well, when you look at supply versus demand, yes, there's a housing shortage. Now, one of the big reasons is, is because demand is way too high or way higher than it should be. You see, if we didn't prop up the banks and allow banks to loan out endless amounts of money, then the demand would drop off. It would actually crash. And you would see then a lot of new homes come on the market because the dryers would the, the dryers, the buyers would dry up uh, very quickly uh, once you stop bailing out corporate America, propping up the banks, endless QE, endless bond buying, endless asset purchases out of the Fed. Uh, speaking of the Fed, let's take a look at the balance sheet here and the total assets here on the Fed. Uh, I've got a chart right here. So uh, just take a look at this and ask yourself, is the Fed tapering? Uh, well, no, their balance sheet keeps growing, right? So they're buying corporate debt. They're, uh, they're keeping the banks liquefied. And just take a look at the financial crisis back here in the dark shaded area. People thought at that time, people thought this was crazy. People thought it was insane what the Fed did at that time. And now look where we're at here. And is anyone out there still thinking that we don't have very, very big problems? I mean, just take a look at the magnitude of the Fed balance sheet compared to the financial crisis. If we look back at this time frame here, 2007, 8, 9, and we refer to that as the financial crisis. Um, not too many people would disagree with you on that. Um, take a look at what's happening now. And does anyone think that we're not in the middle of some sort of crisis right now? Just looking at the Fed balance sheet. I mean, there's all kinds of other things we look at here. But just looking at this just by itself should tell you what's happening. And, uh, you know, it's sad to see how many people are out there, you know, not expecting things to get worse, uh, things are going to continue to get worse. Uh, the cost of living is going to keep going up. You're going to have endless demand because of all the money printing, the borrowing, the lending. Uh, you've got institutions coming in buying homes, for example. It's going to keep home prices inflated. It was uh, one in six homes in the third quarter was bought by an investor or institution. Uh, more than one of six, um, but just to work with even uh, fractions here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of this devastation in Kentucky. This is at least hundreds, but some cases in some counts, it's thousands of homes wiped out. And where are these people going to move to? Rents are sky high. Home prices are sky high. Uh, it's going to take months and months for the insurance company to get all these claims handled, maybe even up to a year, depending on how many homes are actually lost. All right? Maybe more than a year. Who knows? Take a look at some of these pictures. And um, it's feared that at least 70 people are um you know didn't make it through this uh, you see the destruction there was even some factories a candle factory that got completely wiped out and uh, everything going on uh kentucky just just devastated um this city especially bowling green kentucky was hit hard but it wasn't just kentucky it was five states 30 tornadoes across five states last night and early this morning saturday and uh the times put out this little map right here one particular tornado stayed on the ground for more than 200 miles folks that is some devastation 200 miles a path of destruction and when you look at all these uh, severe weather patterns um, we know that the uh the homes that are getting destroyed are are more homes being destroyed versus how many are being built when you look at the supply chain constraints uh the labor situation uh the materials and, and the home builders are having trouble building homes it appears that homes are being destroyed faster than they're being built now there's no numbers out here yet uh, we also had the, the massive fires the flooding that's happened uh flooding on the east coast fires out west you know massive numbers of homes being destroyed and uh is the weather the severe weather just going to stop no it's going to continue to get worse right we have this climate situation right we have people uh, we're polluting the earth at alarming rates and uh so this is going to continue to get worse you know i hate to be 
uh, doom and gloomer, as, as some people would say, but this is uh, what's happening. And just look at what we see here, these tornadoes, and things are continuing to get worse, just like we predicted. Uh, just like the rising cost of living, it's going to continue to get worse. Uh, more people are going to have to take on more debt. They're going to have to keep interest rates artificially low. Uh, some people say the Fed's going to come in and do a drastic increase in interest rates because of inflation. Uh, we'll have to see. Now, something interesting is uh, I've known and spoken with a lot of people over the years that uh, left California to go to some of these states, especially uh, states like Tennessee, Kentucky. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee is a huge music city. It used to be just country, but now you got a lot of people that moved from California have relocated to Tennessee for the music industry there and for the music scene. Um, certainly not just country music anymore. Um, but we see some of these pictures and uh, the devastation. In fact, here's one factory right here that basically got destroyed. This is Edwards, Edwardsville, Illinois. And there's uh, hundreds of more people that are going to be out of a job there for a while. Uh, how fast, how long is it going to take to rebuild this factory? Um, uh, just devastating. Uh, also, more than 200,000 people without power. I wonder how many of these people have electric vehicles. And uh, if they're lucky enough to still have their vehicle, if it didn't get destroyed in the tornado. Uh, how many people will not be able to charge their vehicle with all the power outages? And even if you didn't get touched by the tornado, but your power went out, um, are you going to be stranded with your electric vehicle? So uh, lots of things to think about. And, uh, you know, people often ask why I don't leave California. Um, it's something wherever you go. It's something wherever you go in the north. Uh, what are these people going to do in zero, sub-zero temperatures when the heating oil is not getting delivered when the heating oil uh, the price just goes beyond what people can afford um, right here in these states here all the tornadoes the floods that we saw in the east the mudslides out west the fires out west um, I mean where are you gonna go the uh, the desert seems fairly safe uh, we have Arizona Nevada uh, but what is the best state I mean please let me know down below what is the best state in the United States to be in uh, the safest from natural disasters and all these severe weather events. And I've got my jacket on, by the way. My office is my garage. And um, I wish I had an extra room. You know, when, once you have a family here, if you've got a small house like me, I've got about a 1,200 square foot house. And you have a fit, pretty decent sized family. I'm kind of stuck in the grass. So i uh, kind of bundled up today. And actually, it got pretty cold last night in my neck of the woods. And uh, some people up in Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin, etc., New York are going to be laughing at this, but we got down into the low 40s last night and uh, for California That's pretty darn cold. All right now back to the topic of rising prices oil prices Posted the biggest weekly gain since August now. We did see oil prices come down uh, a Couple weeks ago, and uh, we saw we got about a one or two percent uh, one or two cent Decrease in gas prices here as far as the station that I go to and what I've seen here in California and, uh, you know, some people I was saying I was wrong about this, that oil prices were going to crash or drop. Well, they did pull back a little bit. But look what we saw just this past week, the biggest weekly gain uh, since August. So uh, things are looking like they're going to get more expensive wherever you look. And uh, what happens when things are more expensive? Well, you're going to pay more taxes, right? So your tax base is going to go up. And even sales taxes are now higher based on the higher cost of the goods. Or products that you're buying so it's compounding and uh, how much longer can the average US consumer keep paying these higher prices before we see bankruptcies start to explode and uh, this is out of CNS federal tax collections set a record through November the spending is greatly exceeding the taxes so we continue to run deficits where's all the money going well, it looks like it's going everywhere but into the pockets of the American people, unless you count a stimulus check every now and then. And I guess everyone's confident that uh, no matter how high prices go, that there's going to be somebody there to hand out more money. They're always going to get a pay raise. Well, look at just a couple reports ago, we see these 900 people fired from a mortgage company. One minute they have a job, the next minute they log into a Zoom meeting and 
they're canned just like that things can change in a flash look at all these people that lost their home in the tornado 200,000 people now without power and uh, speaking of the tornadoes back to that once again here uh, the peak tornado season is in April or May most of the time obviously we're in December and we saw what happened here just in the past day so um, when you look at a map though you see that these states most states are may 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 that's the green color there april down in the southern states here some of the more northern states here it's mostly june all right so very unusual but it's no surprise uh the, the weather the severe weather patterns are going to continue to get worse you're going to see more tornadoes in the winter time okay what else is up well prices are up inflation biggest gain since 1982 no surprise to any of you listening to this. We know this is going to continue to get worse. In a couple months, we're going to be reporting that it's the biggest gain since 50 years ago, 60 years ago, etc. Uh, this is not going to stop, people. I uh, wish I had better news for you. And uh, the question is, the ones that steer this economy, the ones that decide you know, what happens, uh, how will they react to this inflation? Will hot inflation keep the Fed on track for pulling back the easy money for tapering um, will they allow interest rates to rise um, what do you think about it please let me know down in the comments uh, many people are saying they're going to overreact uh, drastically raise interest rates and crash the markets i think that would be a little too obvious because even the general public would be aware uh, if something was that obvious if they raise rates aggressively and they'll be seen as the direct cause of this. I don't think they're going to do it like that. I think it's going to be a little more under the radar, right? But even if they stop buying the bonds and stop propping up these institutions, corporations, and stop giving easy money to the trading houses to help support the stock market, um, that's going to be also something that we'll notice here and we'll report it. Uh, will most people find out about it? Probably not. Uh, people like you and me, uh, we'll know about it because we're keeping an eye on this thing, but most of the general population 99.9% .9 of the people they'll have no idea what happened They'll probably blame it on something else some sort of a health crisis or some other, you know situation that pops up All right thoughts and prayers to everybody that uh, was affected by these devastating tornadoes. Thanks everybody for being here Appreciate your support. Please let me know down in the comments one. What is the safest state from all these natural disasters severe weather events Two, what's the Fed going to do in reaction to this insane, this record-breaking rising cost of living inflation? Please let me know those two things down in the comments. Hope to hear from you. Thanks so much for your support. Hope everybody's good. Stay well, stay safe, keep stacking. Bye for now, everybody. Peace.